outro first and then we'll get on. Okay, we're live on Facebook with Jonathan Bone from Australia. Can, can you hear me all right, mate? Yep, I can hear you. Yep. It's just saying it's going to be a bit, I don't know if it's going to be technical difficulties going to Australia. I've never, I've, I, don't think I, I don't think I've done this before, going live to Australia, but here we are. Uh, that's all right. I've been having technical difficulties all day with, oh, with, really? yeah, with streaming and um, trying to stream and been all sorts of problems but you know that's just the way it is eh? uh, no worries here we are um so what's it like in australia at the moment with uh, all this you know virus stuff going on um well there's been a few changes lately actually uh you know that's not not so good just in the last couple of days um you know there's, there's a few lock there's lockdowns um in the city area in sydney and uh, north of sydney uh, what they call the northern beaches and they're sort of um i don't know how long they're going to do it for but they sort of are locking off the borders for a short while again so that's a risk that's actually a recent thing in the last i think i think it's the last couple of days i get my i don't see the news that much i get it sort of second hand so it might be a couple of days old <laughs> It's all very bad, though, isn't it? Especially for people like musicians. Uh, I've interviewed a couple of musicians over the past couple of days, and they've said exactly the same thing. You know, it's just the social aspect and the open mic nights are just they're gone. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm not gigging at the moment, so it's 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 sort of it's been affecting me in some good ways where I can stay home and I can write a lot. I've been writing a lot, and I love. That's what I love. Yeah. That's that's my uh, that's what I like to do the best. So I've been doing a heck of a lot of writing, and I'm looking forward to releasing a lot of material next year. So yeah, it's well, good I've already well. I've already seen a bit that you've been writing on YouTube. There, you've got uh, one of my favourites so far is uh, in the wild. Oh yeah, which is yeah. a really cool song. The, I, I love what you've done with that song. Oh okay, thanks. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah, I particularly liked it when I wrote it. I'm, it's 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 just been changing, and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna. I was gonna end up. Yet. I thought because I, I I haven't sort of you know arranged the song yet, and and I haven't decided whether it's gonna go on the album yet. But maybe I will now. <laughs> and I go for it, man. It's a good song, and you've okay. got other stuff like Monsters, Anna. You know, have you got uh, some stories about these songs? Uh, you know how you wrote them how you come up with them um yeah uh, it's funny because those songs are about six months old now and i've written a heck of a lot more since then so i'm i'm trying to remember uh anna's actually something something i wrote very quickly um referring it it was a sort it's a sort of friend of mine and uh she was you know uh, having a little bit of a hard time so i just um i just happened to write this song very quickly and um and it came out very you know it came out as it was i was very happy with it it was it was quite uh quite uh like just call it a nice song for somebody who's uh, having hard times and that's good when you can do that for someone as well you know when it when it all comes out in emotion when you're writing for somebody um yeah it was great I, I just i like those songs that come out naturally and and it's got a you know a big meaning behind it and you know it means a lot to to them to people or to this particular person and anyone else that you know that can relate to it anyone that's called anna maybe <laughs> oh yeah exactly yeah <laughs> <laughs> um so you're just on youtube aren't you at the moment you've also got a facebook page as well yeah, I've got a Facebook page, YouTube. It's all in the beginning stages. 
But, yeah, um, you're a fairly recent new artist, aren't you? Because I've come across you, uh, I came across you on a, it was on one of the uh, the Facebook news feeds, and I just saw Jonathan Bone, this thing. I was like, oh, who's this guy? And, uh, and I started to look your stuff up on YouTube. Yeah, so, that's pretty... That's pretty new, the YouTube one. The Facebook has been going a bit longer. But I've got a website as well, of course. And I'm just looking forward to really um, releasing a lot of music because I've been writing a long time. And uh, and it's just uh, really exciting to be releasing a lot of music over the next couple of years, maybe five years or so. Um, so what have you, how long have you been playing the guitar? Uh, since I was a kid, yeah, yeah, very long time, yeah. Um, I think I picked up the guitar when I was about thir 12, 13, so and um, and I and I I learned guitar by learning all um, the you know, the jam songs, the jam, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, okay. how, I that's how I learned the guitar back in the day I, I i learned i'll you know i taught myself by you all the songs by the jam that's the first thing i ever done on the guitar they're, long very, time. they're very difficult songs to play though aren't they the jam um maybe rhythmically yeah maybe but no i if you, i think if you like something a lot if you if you really like something you can learn it quicker and you, you know, you can um, enjoy it more. And when you enjoy it more, then you, you learn it quicker again. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, is, that what, is that one of your heroes of music, would you say, Paul Weller? Um, no, not really. It was then when I was a, when I was a kid the, as the jam. But then, um, but then it sort of uh, drifted away after the jam, really. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I remember the Style Council when... You know the early days of the style style council. I sort of enjoyed oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Um, yeah, but pretty much, you know, the Beatles, Sex Pistols, things like that. Yeah. Um, who would you say now? Who who's the one standout artist for you today? Um, I am not sure. I, I've listened to. I just try and listen to whatever whatever I hear that's that happens to be good on the radio um, or, or whatever online um, recently it's been someone I think she's Irish she's called C Matt C Matt do you know who that is um, no but I'll look her up yeah C Matt so I enjoyed that she's, she got a, she had a track I heard a track the other day I enjoyed that and there's someone called Julia Jacqueline in um, Australia I enjoyed okay. that and um, there's a band in Japan called Limited Express has gone. I enjoy them. Yeah, whatever I hear, I don't particularly, whatever I hear on the radio or whatever, online. And I, and I suppose sometimes it goes along with mood as well, however you feel it, I guess. Um, with with listening with to what music. you listen to, I guess what you like at the time. You know, if, you, if you've got a certain, if you're in a certain mood for it, I don't know what it's like a chill out like Paul Simon or something like that. And you, you, you know what I mean? It's a sort of mood, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I suppose it could be. Um, it can, yeah, it can also, it can change your mood if, as well. If you hear something, mm -hmm. you can, you can be feeling really you hear something and, and feel really good. Eh? So is that, if that's, is that what you mean by mood? Yeah, like if you, if you're in a, if you're in a, like a, I don't know, bit of a down mood and you need someone to pick you up. Um, that sort of thing, like, um, yeah. like a, I don't know, something like a top artist who thinks, oh, one of your favourites on your playlist, and you think I've got to listen to that song right now because it picks me up for the day, something like that. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't think I do that, but yeah, it sounds like something you can do. But yeah, yeah. Just, uh, so how do you go? How do you, how does your songwriting process work? Um. I think uh, I'm not going to ask you how you write a song because there's no I know there's no right or wrong answer to that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, because it, 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 it sort of it comes from nowhere. Sometimes you know it just comes out wherever it comes from. But I mean, basically, it does you know come from just you could be just sitting around playing something on the guitar or the piano or on the computer, and 
I, I find, you know, it's what I've been talking, you know, I might be talking to my wife that day or the day before about a topic, you know, a social topic, and it just sticks in my mind and I, I'm thinking about it all the time. And then um, when you sort of put that with, when you, you know, put that, you, when, when you're playing music, you can sort of introduce your feelings of, you know, what you've been talking about for the last two days, you know, something serious, something fun. And you can, you know, you can put that into your music somehow, you know. It, sometimes you can, sometimes I just write it out and and I've been playing a long time so I can just sort of, um, you know, I might have a lot of words, but I can cut them up and fit them into, into melodies and chord structures. I've been doing that recently. That's why I'm talking about that. But really, yeah. it, can be, it can be anything. You know, you can start with a drum beat and and be uh, inspired. I've, but yeah, it, is a, it is an incredible thing, though, isn't it, to actually come up with a piece of music that, you, that you've done? Well, it's very satisfying and, and, and um, you know, it makes you, feel, it makes you feel really good when you've uh, written something and, you, and you're happy about it, you're happy about what you've written. It can be very, um, very uh, enjoyable, and uh, keeps you going. You know, I mean, it just makes fulfills your days and your weeks and your life, and it's just fantastic. You know, music's yeah. just amazing. It's just music's just amazing in general. But if you want to write it as well, maybe it might be better for you. Maybe it's just good enough listening to it, whatever. But I find the writing it is just. Uh, just good for me, good for me. Anyway. So you're using the lockdown productively then by writing and putting stuff out on YouTube. So, but it's better, to, you know, it's, there's nothing like a live gig though, is there? When you go out there and perform your songs live and you get that interaction from the audience. Um, sure, yeah, sure. That's, I think it's just another thing though. It's, uh, it's another good thing to do, but you know i could i could do either i could i think i could enjoy either you know i could stay home and and perform and enjoy that and i i, I think i'd like to mix it up actually you know and you know mm. uh, not, i'm not overdo too much um touring or something like that too much gigging and be uh sort of maybe half home ba home based or something that would be that would be nice for me you know, and not do, and just not do too much. So do um, sort of live live streaming, basically. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, have, am I right in thinking you've got that um, Happy New Year one out? Yeah, yeah. I just released that's that. It, that, that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what another one I saw by. You. That's the latest single. Yeah, yeah. I I, I actually wrote it last year because we had bushfires as you probably know, in Australia, mm -hmm. some serious fires last year. And, yeah, uh, awful news that was. That was awful. Yeah, it was pretty bad for us because we were, we were living somewhere. It's called the Blue Mountains. And there was fires on every side of us, the north, south, west, and east. And they were coming in closer every day. So at some point, we had to get out and um, stay with friends in the city or stay in a hotel. And uh, that's what I wrote. Um, uh, what's it called? Happy New Year, fires near me, because it, yes. was, it, it was New Year's Eve, and and um, I, I, you know, I was I, I never stopped writing, so I'm I'm playing every day, and it was New Year's Eve, and I was writing, and but the fires were going on, and you know, and I was hearing stories, you know, of people. You know, obviously suffering. Some people were losing loved ones and stuff. So it was affecting me. It was probably on this New Year's Eve. You usually celebrate, not something, you know. Yeah. All this was going on. So it was pretty confusing. So there you get the fires near me. Um, Happy New Year. So it's all sort of intertwined, you know, all these Happy New Year. So. And again, yeah. you've put your feelings into a song. Like you were talking about Anna earlier on. You know, you've, you've, you, you know that's that's how passionate you are about the music yeah yeah I, i'm i'm pretty i've i've developed over the years and i can i like to write as soon as i see stuff and hear stuff i can 
you know, I like to write pretty quickly, get it done, and move on <laughs> to the next thing. Well, I, I came across you, like I say, through Facebook, and then I heard that song Into the Wild, and I was like, wow. You know, yeah. this this guy's really good. And you sound good as well. You have a good style about you when you're playing the guitar and a good voice. Great. Yeah. Well, and um, some cool lyrics too. Some really cool lyrics. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks very much. I, I mean, I take a lot of time, you know, to, you know, I, I try and focus as much as I can and try and go... Um, deep into the meaning of the song every time I write. And uh, and it doesn't necessarily take a long time. Sometimes it can take, you know, half an hour. Sometimes it can take all day. But I hope to do a, a good job of the, you know, of the song. You know, I don't want to release anything that's not good enough for me anyway, you know. So... Yeah, it's, it's uh, got you... Yeah, yeah, because you like it yeah. In the wild, it was a good. I'm trying to remember what I was writing it, but it was, it was a good feeling writing that. I don't know what it was. It was something, and usually when you get that really intense feeling, you you, some, you usually come up with something better. Well, yeah. it had a good vibe to it, and obviously, you know, I'm listening to it and I'm going, I'm really digging this, you know. Mm -hmm. You think it should yeah, be a bad thing? Some could, like a work, could, could do work as a bad thing, yeah. Could mm -hmm. could work as a bad thing. But then again, it works good acoustically. So, yeah. It, yeah. you know, yeah, obviously there's there's room for more, in, there's more um, instruments and that, and that sort of thing. But sometimes a song, when it's done acoustically and raw, is, is quite a thing as well. Yeah. And, yeah, and you portrayed that with in that song, so yeah. you know, and also with Anna and Monsters, and some of the other tracks that I'm trying to remember offhand. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going through a a really good writing stage at the moment. Probably the best I've ever. I don't know why. It's just you don't know. You don't know when you're going to write, and you don't know when you're not going to write, but. But I can definitely say in the last year I've been at my peak and and they're just coming out all the time, you know, just and, uh, it, and enjoying it's it. It's an amazing thing when the it's an amazing thing when you flow out. And so um and I know that somebody said once that writing a song writing a song and then going on to the next one, when you finish one song. Then you can write another one, then another one. And it's like, wow, where's all this stuff coming from? And you don't know. It's just no. coming from somewhere. And you yeah. think, well, yeah. what why am I right? How have I wrote that? You know, it's just incredible for you. It's in, it's great. Yeah, yeah. It is. It and, is. Um, you I know, don't know. I can't answer that. See, it is uh, <laughs> I mean, I could sit down and write a song every day, I suppose, about something or another, but you know. When they come naturally, and and you know, when they come naturally, it's 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 really nice, you know, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. All right, Jonathan. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's been a good interview. Yeah. Thanks, Graham. Yeah. That's Where all right. And I'll keep, uh, uh, sorry. Where are you in London? No, we're in the UK, um, in Staffordshire. Oh, Staffordshire. Yeah. Do you I'm know? You know that place? You know it. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, is is it near the border? It's in the Midlands, so it's in the middle of the yeah. UK, central. Yeah, uh, yeah. local football teams. If you're into football, is uh, Birmingham City and Aston Villa. That's the local teams. Yeah, I remember. I was, I was when I was a kid growing up in Wales. I was Liverpool, so I was. Oh, Liverpool. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Football is um, a bit different. Soccer is it's called soccer over here. Yeah. And uh, it's a bit different, I think. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty big, but I don't think it's as big as uh, in England, eh? Well, no. I mean, you've got the mind you on Australia. What's the big league in Australia? Um, I don't know. Is it the? Uh, I can't remember. I haven't followed it for years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've got the uh, Premier League over here. That's the big one, the Barclays Premier League, and then the Championship. They're the two big leagues. So, yeah. When yeah. did Liverpool win last? 
Uh, mm. Liverpool won the Premier League last season. Last season. And yeah. I think they're on for the title again this season. Well, they're, they're about six points clear at the top at the moment. So. Oh, really? Okay. Doing really well. They won 7 0 yesterday. <laughs> oh, wow. Against yeah. who? The, um, Crystal Palace. They won 7 0 at Crystal Palace. Yeah, so they're uh, really rocketing up. Uh, the league. I mean, you can. I think is that because I think Liverpool is so good, or Crystal Palace is just terrible at the moment. Uh, Liverpool are just so good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they've got they've got some really quality players in there. Okay. Um, really quality. Like, I don't know if you've heard of Mo Salah. I've heard, but I don't know very well now. Yeah. I'm, I'm only hearing about the guy from Manchester United. Doing great things, not football, like sort of charity things, making lots of twenty million dollars for for people um, who need it. Do, do, I forgot do, do, do. his name. Sorry. Yeah, so have I actually. <laughs> you know the one I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Jonathan. Well, thank you very much, and uh, I hope everything goes well with your music. And keep writing. That's all I can say. Just keep going. Keep writing, man. Get your stuff out there. Thanks. Thanks for your compliments too. No problem. No problem. See you, Graham. No worries, mate. Bye. See you.